Well, guys, that's it for this year's uh, Halloween-a-thon. First ever for J&J &J Toy Giants. So, sad to see it go, but we got to keep on keeping on, guys. I'm starting to feel a little teary-eyed. Skeletor, you're not going anywhere. You're, you're, you're my action figure. You're going to stay exactly where you've been. You're just not going to be part of the channel anymore. That's all. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll be fine. Hey, hey, easy there, drama queen. I never knew that being part of the channel meant so much to you. Come on, JD. Can I be the next co-host of the channel? I swear, I'll do better. I'll be funnier. I'll even be nice to John Cena. Oh, word, dog. For real, yo? Yo, mad respect, Skeletor. Mad respect, yo. I appreciate that. Appreciate the love, yo. Wow, Skeletor, you even surprised me, man. That's very, very sweet of you to actually, you know, give John, you know, some compliments and, you know, actually not be mean to him for the first time. <laughs> yeah, John, it's okay. Nah, no, nah. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You go f*** yourself. Oh, come on, man. Every time I think you take two steps forward, you take three steps back. I can't believe you. Ooh, yeah, uh-huh. Sick burn, sick burn. Mmm, jerk you are. Yeah, uh, duh, I'm Skeletor, I'm evil. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I can just picture it now, brother. The next year's Halloween-a-thon for j and J Toy Giants, starring the Macho Man Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah. You know what, Macho Man, I agree with you. I think we should do this every single year. A brand new Halloween-a-thon for J&J &J Toy Giants. And uh, so next we got a uh, okay away for Christmas, right? Maybe we'll do something special then. Yeah, it has been a really great month. I've been a star, of course. <laughs> but, you know, we should send everybody off with our last big hurrah. I'll start. <clears throat> it's so hard to say goodbye. Whoa, 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 no, don't, don't be singing that song, man. You're going to get us hit with copyright, dude. Come on. Anyway, thank you so very much for watching these skits. Enjoy this week's video. Happy Halloween. What is up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new Pick a Card, and today I'm going to be going over some Fleer 1990 baseball cards. Um, so these are the 10th anniversary edition, and of course these are logo stickers and trading cards. And uh, I got a bunch of these. I actually got the pack, a box of them, so I'm going to unbreak a lot of these for of the course of the few months. So let's get started with the card. Break. Right. So the very first uh, card that I'm going to be uh, opening up here, and there are about 15 cards to a pack. So I opened a couple. So let's see what we got here. So first one we have is Keith. I'm sorry, Ken Kemenitti, who was a third baseman for the Astros. Look at that old that old logo there. You can see. And sorry about the gloss. Then we got pitcher Dave Stewart. Now, I feel, I apologize. I wasn't really that hip to the players uh, during 1990. Like, I watched baseball, but I was mostly watching the Yankees and the Mets. So, pardon me if I'm not specifically inclined as far as, like, these players are. But I'm sure that those who actually are a real big, um, you know, fan of the baseball and, like, you know, follow the baseball all throughout the 90s and, of course, during now, you might know who these guys are. So outfield, Ivan Calderon from the Chicago White Sox. Look at that old logo there. And Herm Winningham, outfielder for the Cincinnati Reds. Zane Smith. Now, for those who actually follow baseball but don't really remember, the Montreal Expos um, were a team in Montreal, but they actually then became the Washington Nationals, for those who don't remember. So Zane Smith, who was a pitcher for the Montreal Expos at that time. And then we had 
Uh, for the uh, Milwaukee Brewers, Scott Bankhead, who was a pitcher. Then we had Don Robinson, a pitcher for the San Francisco Giants. And we got Jose Alvarez. I remember him. I used to watch a lot of uh, TNT, and, and obviously the Braves were owned by Ted Turner, so I would always watch him uh, pitch a lot. So Jose Alvarez, pitcher. Jeff Robinson from the, the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates, pitcher. We got Eric Hansen, Milwaukee Brewers, pitcher. Joe Magrain, Magrain from the St. Louis Cardinals, pitcher. We got a lot of pitchers in this pack. Outfielder, Alice Burks from the Boston Red Sox. Kurt Young, pitcher for the Oakland A's. We got Roger McDowell from the Phillies. Philadelphia Phillies, pitcher. Yeah, wow, and so many pitchers in these in this um, these packs. So pitcher Mauro Gazzo from the Toronto Blue Jays. And we got Andy Van Dyke, an outfielder for the San Francisco Pirates. Or I'm sorry, Pittsburgh Pirates, sorry. And these logos are like awesome, man. Just look, watch, look at these old, old logos. Of course, uh, the New York Yankees and the Mets really haven't changed. Minnesota Twins. Greg Gagne, who's a shortstop, not to be confused with Greg Gagne, the wrestler. Sandy Alomar Jr. from the uh, San Diego Padres. I remember him. Catcher. Dave Winfield, New York Yankees. Woo woo! Outfielder. Used to watch him play. We got Glenn Wilson. Outfielder. For the Astros. We got Devin White, who was an outfielder for the uh, Los Angeles Angels. During that time, it was Los Angeles Angels, not the Anaheim Angels back time. So. They went to Anaheim, then they went back to L.A. So the uh, second to last one is Fred McGriff, first base for Toronto Blue Jays. Last but not least, we got Ron Hassey, catcher for the Oakland A's. See that? All right. And, of course, the next one, a pitcher for the Cleveland Indians, Bud Black. No uh, Rick Wild Thing Vaughn. All right, next one, pitcher, Norm Charlton. I'm surprised we didn't get any doubles here. If, I, if we did, I don't remember if we did. So, league's best stor- shortstop, superstar, Tony Fernandez and Cal Ripken Jr. Ooh, now I know him. Um... Basically play his whole career with the Orioles. And next the pitcher, Ted Power. And then Jesse Orozo, or yeah, Orozco, sorry. Jesse Orozco from the Indians. Almost looks like uh, Tanaka from the Indians. You know, you know Tanaka, right? All right. Bob Ojeda, pitcher for the uh, New York Mets. And, of course, last one, Jose, I know, Joe Arcelac, outfield for the uh, Baltimore Orioles. So that is it for this edition of Pick a Card. We'll be with you in just a moment. 